end user agreements. So these are the contracts. And I looked around really hard to try and find something about your data use um, agreement with Google and a couple of things came up that, um, that uh, I think are just worth pointing to. So first of all, this is, this is your end use agreement. And the interesting thing that, I point to, that I'll point to about your user agreement, your contract with Google is simply using Google search according to this contract constitutes you agreeing with them about, um, about what the fair use of your data on Google is. So, the, so it says here in, in like uh, whatever it is, 2.2 point B, that simply using a Google service constitutes an agreement. That's very different than a lot of other software programs. In fact, the vast majority of other so software programs where you actually agree to the terms of use. Now, you never read the terms of use. Very, very few people do. Certainly, I don't read the terms of use. But you did agree to it. You did click something physically. Here, the mere act of using the software is what constitutes the, fa uh, what constitutes the handshake, the agreement that you're using Google. Okay, so let me point to a couple of other things about Google and privacy. So um, uh, there's what Google says, which is um, pretty much point blank, we don't sell your information to anybody. Um, and they're, they're not all that specific about it. So what I want to do is give you the Google story as much as I can come up with it, and then give you some of the critiques of the Google story. So the Google story as much as I can come up with it is we don't sell your, we don't sell your data to anybody. We keep the log files of, um, uh, we keep the log files of your search requests, and, uh, and it's unclear to me whether it's 90 days or 18 months. I've heard tell that Bing, the Microsoft service, keeps it 18 months, and now Google's keeping it 18 months, or is it 90 days? Um, they don't ever associate anything but your IP address with your, um, with your results, and so it's not personally identifiable information. Those are the things that Google states about, um, specifically about search, right? The other Google products are, are a different story entirely. So this is what I came up with. This is a Wikipedia article about um, uh, the critiques of Google privacy. And one is that, um, uh, that Google might disclose information about you to the authorities if they're subpoenaed, if they're, if they're asked by the government to supply information about you, they may very well do that. Um, that, their, uh, uh, that their privacy policy is vague and incomplete and that they, they're, they're, they don't entirely tell you what's possible to do with their information. And I think, I, I think that, that that has to have some validity considering that it was very, very hard for me to even find out what their privacy policy was. Um, they don't consider an IP address to be personally identifiable information. And I think it's pretty clear that an IP address can be, isn't always. And now remember, the IP address is the, is the address, the, the unique identifier for your computer on the internet. That's probably the best way to think about it. The IP address is the unique identifier for your computer on the network. Now, if I know the unique identifier for your computer and I also know who's using that computer, I can link it to you. On the other hand, lots of times that IP address changes, like maybe every time you log on to your network, it changes your IP address, or your IP address is, uh, is what's called a proxy. It's not really your IP address, it's just one that's assigned to you by your internet provider or something like that. So it's not entirely linkable to your computer, or maybe you're using a computer in an internet cafe that, that really isn't tieable to you. So it's not entirely clear whether or not your IP address is, um, is personally identifiable or not, but Google, according, at least according to this, takes that to be non-personally identifiable information, so it can give IP addresses. And in fact, it says in some of the things that I read that your location on the internet may be given to other people. Okay, what else? Um, that you're not always able to, um, to opt out. And let me, let me briefly give this idea of opt out. I'll come back to it again later. Opt out means uh, that you can decide not to be part of whatever it is they're doing, whatever program it is, or you can opt out of them capturing data. Um, and, they, and according at least to this, that many Google services don't allow you to opt out. So as far as I know, well, no, no, there are ways actually that you can opt out, meaning choose not to have Google collect information about you. The first and foremost is you can get rid of your cookies. You can get rid of the cookies. But uh, at least according to some of the criticisms of Google, if you get rid of your cookies, a lot of their services just don't work very well. Okay, so why is it in the interest, and this is a good question it's for, for Facebook and it's also for Google, why is it in, in, in their interest to keep their privacy policy sort of vague and to give themselves some wiggle room? Because of what we've talked about many times in this course, which is that your information is hugely valuable to them. 
Um, now for Google, it's a lot about advertising, and advertising depends on them knowing what people are doing. So collecting information about you is a major deal. It's it's really it's it's really their it's kind of their core property that they have. It's what they it's what they make. You know, um, Ford makes cars. Google makes information. And the more identifiable the information is, the more powerful it is to them in order to sell it back to advertisers, in order to make money from it. And so it's obvious that it's in their interest not to have this information um, easily, uh, not to have this information, uh, to have this information as connected and rich as possible, to be able to keep it for as long as possible. And so they're sort of, there's a, there's a, 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 a dichotomy there. They want to assure you of your privacy, but your lack of privacy is what helps them make money.